What's up, fight fans? Matt Tucker here with Fight Hub TV, powered by State Front VIP. Here with the champ, Rolly Romero. How are you, brother? I'm good. I'm very full right now. Right on. We're at the WBA convention. Uh, pretty wild stuff happening today. Got a got a bit of a brawl going. You see what happened? Uh, yeah, I saw a little bit. Try to break that up or what? Uh, I, I don't think uh, I don't think there should have been any cameras. Right. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I it's, it's not my problem. So I took my distance. I don't know what what truly happened, which I've heard, you know, what had happened. But I, you know, like I said, it's not my problem. So I didn't really get into it. Yeah, I feel that. But I don't think uh, everyone taking out their cameras is a good look on any other situation. All right. It's uh, kind of crazy that it came to that. But uh, in, in happier news, uh, you got a big call out from Ryan Garcia the other day. Curious what you thought of. Uh, his last performance and if you want to take that fight i mean i hope he keeps training with derrick james that shoulder roll that shit's amazing uh yeah i mean what you what you think of his performance uh, against orde i mean it was, it was a good performance mm -hmm. yeah yeah he won yeah he stopped Dorda. Mm -hmm. yeah it was a great performance it was a good performance yeah what do you think of all the drama surrounding him and Golden Boy? Uh, I, I really don't have no opinion on that because the thing is, I don't know where the drama actually stems from. Mm -hmm. So if I knew where the drama actually stems from, maybe I have an opinion on it, but I don't know who's fault, who that who, you know, you hear one side, so you hear the other, but I mean, like I, said, I don't know what the actual root of the problem is. Mm -hmm. You see uh, Devin Haney, uh, his last fight against Regis, what do you think? Did you think it? What did you think of that fight? I think. Well, I mean, all I know for a fact is why Regis decided to say that he didn't want to fight me out of all the other champions and all that stuff is because if I would have probably hit him with, uh, I probably would have slapped him with my dick. He would have been fucking. <laughs> he would have been out. <laughs> I don't know if you could shoulder roll that, bro. <laughs> you, gotta, the, the you gotta use your footwork dude, on that. that. That motherfucker can't fucking take a shot at all. But I mean, like, to, to get dropped by by Dev, that that that's that's incredible, you know. Devin looked good though, man. De Devin looked no, no. Devin didn't look good. Devin looked amazing. Yeah. Like De De Devin did a, a master class performance, and honestly, I think that's a great. It's a great win and great step into the 140-pound division. Do you think it was a mistake dropping all of his titles at 135 to move up, or do you think it was just healthier for him? I mean, dude, when it's time to move, it's time to move up. I wish I would have listened to myself and moved up when I should have moved up. I feel like 140 is the new glamour division. Everyone's moving I know. on up. And guess what? Rolly's about, to, Rolly's about to make that shit the most popping division in boxing. You'll see this shit. Yeah. You'll see this shit. I'm, 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 I'm going to do it, you know, because... Because I'm an entertainer. I want to make big fights. I like big fights. I don't like fucking all this bullshit. I like big fights. Who do you want next, Rolly? Me? Yeah. Uh, a lot of folks calling you out right now. I, yeah, a lot of folks. You know, but I mean, when you have a belt, everybody calls you out, right? Yeah. But, um, no, I, I don't really care about who who's there and who's not, you know, mm -hmm. uh, right now. Uh, I haven't even thought about getting back in the ring or anything yet, you know. I'm just taking my time, you know. Just chilling, have a good time at WBA convention, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I came to support. Yeah, I mean, like, you got to look at it from my perspective. You know, starve to death, get punched in the face, be in there with a bunch of sweaty, disgusting dude right gym smelling like yeah, ass smelling like ass or <laughs> be on a tropical island getting my dick sucked by two girls at the same time yeah w which one sounds better to you option b bro option uh, b uh, hard <laughs> okay so i'm not in no rush i don't give a fuck right now I, no you know i you know it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna get to a point where i don't want to get my dick sucked anymore by fucking two three girls at the same time so and i'm gonna want to come back to the gym because you know i I'm, i miss being in the in the gym environment but right now I'm just taking my time, I'm enjoying myself. Right, yeah, as you should. Also here we got Jake Paul versus Andre August. Curious uh, what you think about that fight and where Jake is at his career right now. I don't know who the Andre dude is. Is he, uh, but, 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 no, we're going to say. But I'm gonna support anything Jake Paul does because Jake Paul's good for the sport and bringing so many viruses to dance sport and it's good. 
It seems like he's uh, really making an effort to get ranked versus these uh, entertainment fights. Do you think that's the move for him, or should he just keep on making money? Bro, keep making money, bro. No, wait, 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 wait. Get ranked? Yeah, like uh, he's yeah, fighting a pro. No, he's no, fighting no. a pro boxer. But he was trying to get ranked his last fight. Right. So yeah, dude, I can see Jake Paul fighting for a world title and even winning a world title. You know, and like I said, that's his dream. But bro, dude, he, the dude's already made so much money. Like, do you think he really cares about money? Probably. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I, I'm. I'm uh, oh, wait, wait, one second. Uh, at, at the end of it, yeah, you, ne you never make enough money. It's, it's never enough, right? Mm. You always want to go buy another multi-million dollar yacht, you know? Because the old one just is a year old, you know? Right. But <laughs> Dude called out Canelo the other day, though. How do you think that would go down for him? I think that's... I think that fight would be good for boxing. It would make me so much money, but how do you think it would play out? I think that's. A <laughs> give me, give me your rolly opinion, hey, I, bro. I'm, I'm here you. for it. Count, but Canelo is one of the pound for pound greatest fighters of all time. You yeah. know. So, I mean, there's that. But like I said, I. I I want to see that because just the lead up is going to be great. It would be so entertaining, yeah. bro. Bro, like, <laughs> I, 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 I want to see, I want to see the lead up to that. Like, that'd be great. Like, and I'll bring so much viewers to boxing. No, for sure. Yeah. What do you think about him not linking up with Benavides? Like, that's the big fight at 168. But it oh, seems Canelo. Yeah, it seems as though Canelo doesn't want that fight. I think it's gonna happen. You think? I think it's gonna happen. I, I have a feeling it's gonna happen on Amazon Prime. Mmm. Uh, I got a good feeling. Okay. You know, it just seems like all these puzzle pieces are kind of just fitting in together at the same time. I'll be back. Mm. I'm going to get some money. Yeah. All right. Well, Rolly, uh, let's go get some dinner, bro. Yeah, got it. I'm grabbing gotta, eight today. Yeah. I'm, uh, I've been working all day, so I feel that. It was, uh, it was good to speak with you, man. Of course, my man. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.